folks, in this one we are taking the Dakota autocross racing. Oh my god, let's go. All right, well, it's interesting. I'm still learning the track. Uh, I apparently DNF'd my first two. I was pretty sure I got that second one, but apparently we get like eight today, so I'm just gonna get a feel for it. And then in the second half of the afternoon, I'll probably do some filming, but overall it is super fun. Yeah, this guy's pretty quick. I think he's got the best time of the day right now. I never really would have thought of a C4 Corvette as like a big handling car, but uh, sure seems to be doing well. Well, I got completely lost. Um, the guy in the Corvette, it was a silver Corvette, got a 50-second one. I think uh, my best on there, Ben Dodge, was a 61.89. Pretty routinely getting beat by uh, 10 seconds or so by Civics, which is interesting how well they do out here. But anyways, uh, this is basically uh, the morning half. So my goal is to get one um, down in the 50s. Okay, well, it's about midway through the day right now. I've done uh, four laps myself. It basically took me all of that time to learn the track. I thought I had it, but I kept getting DNF. So I've got one good run right now, which I think is around 62 or 63. Um, my front tires, the air pressure is so low in them. They're just folding over, uh, body roll like crazy. It's interesting being around cars that actually handle and uh, you really learn where you stand in the world. I will say there is a surprising amount of Hondas here today. Only, I think, three V8 vehicles. So uh, pretty uh, interesting choices out. Okay, well, we're just heading up to the line right now. Hopefully I can get me something sub 60 seconds. pretty interesting uh, seeing Hondas beat you by about 10 seconds. A certain amount of that is going to be uh, skill and whatever, but uh, these cars actually do pretty good out here. I will say that despite the fact that uh, me and my truck are not really set up and used to this, I am having so much fun. I really enjoy it. I can see how people get right into this and track days and all that kind of stuff. Um, for quite a while, I've been thinking about what sort of motorsport to get into, maybe drag racing or something else, but um, I think this grip stuff and maybe some drifting is probably it. Okay, that last one was 61987. I think that's my best so far. I'm gonna shoot for, I got three more. I'm gonna shoot for getting this one down to uh, 60.
totally screwed that one up. It just got lost in the middle there. I uh, got two runs left. I feel like I'm uh, getting a little bit better. Um, two seconds to knock off there is quite a bit, but I mean, almost uh, any car that's competitive here is running kind of 53 seconds or below. There's a couple that are 50 seconds. So I mean, if I can get to 59 point whatever, I'd be pretty happy. And uh, either way, I've been having so much fun. My front tires have been folding over pretty bad. A couple people said I should put some air in them. So borrowed a compressor off a guy, did that, and uh, hopefully that will shave uh, about two seconds off so I can get under a minute. Pretty interesting mix of vehicles here. A lot more Hondas than I would have guessed. Um, several Miatas, which definitely saw that coming. One BMW, there's one, I think it's an S14 Nissan. Yeah, I think this is the fastest car so far. This thing beat me by about 12 or 13 seconds. Pretty wild. All right, run number three. Let's hope I can put something down. trying to decide if I should take the tonneau cover off. This thing's actually really heavy. Probably weighs over 100 pounds, maybe more. Um, I would have suspected that uh, having a really light rear end would have been the problem out here, but uh, understeer for me has definitely been the biggest issue. Those front wheels uh, just started folding over and sliding all over the place. So it'd be interesting to see uh, this thing with some better tires and lowered and uh, urethane bushings, and hopefully that would help. Alright folks, well we did it. Um, got the truck back together. That was a huge job uh, getting that brake stuff done. Um, you know, I was able to get the uh, thing sub 60 seconds. I think my best time was 59.2. I mean, you can tell all the guys that go there all the time and they got crazy uh, tires on their cars and stuff like that, or some proper performance tires anyways, let's say that. Um, you know, there was a bunch of cars. Uh, I think the best time was a 49. Um, most of the Hondas there, which there was a ton of them, uh, they were, a lot of them were kind of down around like 53, 52, something like that. Miatas were doing really well. Anyway, though I was really hoping to get some time knocked off and get it down below 60 seconds and uh, I got two runs under 60 and um, that felt pretty good because uh, 
this thing was a handful out there, let me tell you. You know, I really enjoyed uh, what a novelty having a truck there was. Uh, everybody just got such a kick out of it. And, um, you know, one guy's saying, oh, you should have towed a trailer behind there to balance it out and stuff. People were razzing me a bit, and uh, I thought that was just hilarious. So on the one token, uh, I could see putting a little bit of uh, work and money into this thing and trying to make it good at uh, autocross and track days and stuff like that. Um, urethane bushings, lowering new shocks, you know, way better tires um, would make a huge difference on this. I don't know if it's gonna make it competitive, but the power plant with all that torquey low end, I mean, I was barely uh, tickling it around a lot of the situations. So I would be really curious to see uh, what you guys thought about that. Um, you know, it's a possibility too, that uh, if I was to go down this route that I could sell the quad and maybe buy something like an Infiniti G35 and start getting into some drifting and stuff like that too. So let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy that? Um, would you like to see the Dakota start getting built for uh, road course type stuff? Or would you like to see another car come on the channel? Do you like the quad better than this kind of stuff? Let me know what you think. And uh, anyways, just want to say thanks for coming along. Um, like I said, I had such a blast doing this. Uh, the understeer on these tires was just unbelievable. Like uh, I'm going to try putting a little bit more air in and stuff, but uh, the handling was so bad. There was so much more power than handling. It was hard to even put it into words. Um, I left the tonneau cover on thinking that uh, oversteer was going to be the problem and understeer was by far the biggest issue I had today. So anyways, you guys let me know what you think. Please give me a thumbs up, a subscribe and ring the bell and we will see you on the next one.